Yo guys, what's up? This is Sugi Tech and thanks for joining me today on my Sony Vegas tutorial on how to do time lapse effects and slow motion effects with Sony Vegas. And first of all, we're going to open a video file that we're going to use on this. You can use multiple files, it doesn't really matter. It will easen it up a bit if they are all merged together, however. So I'm going to use a file about a guy driving his car around the street. And as you can see, there's some car engine and air sounds on the background, pretty much, or in the nature sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete the audio file because in usually in time lapses, you don't want to use your audio on it because you're able to time lapse or stretch the audio as well together with this style. So in this context if you're going to do slow motion effect in those people want those weird like slow motion sounds or voices and those might be some for some people they might be funny so that's why they want to keep the audio on and that's totally fine so how we're going to do about this so this is a nine minute clip and a lot of people don't want to see don't don't want to watch a clip of nine minutes somebody driving their car on the street so in these particular situations time lapse is rather cool so what we're going to do we're going to go to the end of the uh, clip in the end and it says dream the event end but that's not what we want to do here so we're going to push control down and then it will say time stretch and we're going to click it with a right click and I'm going to stretch it down to the uh, to the far as we can get so there's a limitation how much you can stretch it um, this is just a limitation by the program so this is just normal and now we can see when we once we play out the clip you can see it's going a bit faster than the original trip clip actually because it's like around six times faster and of course the frame rates are not fast in the preview picture so it actually looks a bit better once you have rendered it and that's pretty much how the time lapse effect works and you don't really need to do anything else here and it's a really cool feature and some people like to use it on certain montages or etc and then it just slow it on other parts and now we're going to do the exact different thing so it's easy to do the other things so we do the same thing with control and we stretch it the other side way uh, other side and you can see it becomes very I think there's almost a limited way you can stretch it and this becomes well there's actually a limitation there but as you can see it's now very stretched and now we're gonna play it and it's on slow motion you can hear the sounds on the background too how different they are and that's pretty much how you do the slow effects or um, the time-lapse effect and of course it will be making a lot easier if you merge the clips so the stretching thing will be easier because you're stretching all the clips at the same time of course you can stretch multiple clips in your videos it's rather easy and you can also stretch only the audio if you want to um, delete the um, if you want to choose the other track you can delete the actual video track and stretch the audio only this works the other way around too and thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more Sony Vegas, Photoshop, and other uh, program guides in the future. I'll see you soon. Cheers.